Hey everybody, it's Mark Gestock here, and I am going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself pollen feeder. I did lots of R&D on the internet, um, and that's the reason why you're watching this video, because you're on the internet, uh, on how to um, make a homemade pollen feeder. So I actually went to our Habitat for Humanity store. I bought, this is 4-inch uh, thin wall PVC. It's for sewer pipe and drain. It's it's thin. It's not thick. I bought it for a buck a foot. Uh, this cap happened to be there. Uh, it was 50 cents. I actually did have to go to Home Depot buy this spout. It was like two seventy nine. So you figure two, uh, three bucks, fifty, five bucks. I got, I've got a feeder. So this is, uh, this is the important part. You got to put it together. So you put it like this. You put this piece on here. And then for the, the crowning moment, you put this piece on here. You know, I know I'm doing it one-handed. And that is how you make a, a, a pollen feeder. Uh, I, once I get it all together, hey, it is all together, I'll get it installed, show you what you're going to do. I'm not going to glue it in case I need to uh, add more pollen in the back. But there you go. For five bucks, I mm, believe it's going to work. So the other day we built this high-tech uh, bee feeder, uh, pollen feeder, and I have some Ultra Bee here. Um, just to let you know I'm not a paid spokesman, uh, but if anybody from the Ultra Bee manufacturing company would like to send me something, I will be glad to accept it and tell you guys uh, that too. But I did go to, I'm in uh, Orange, Virginia, I did go to uh, Lake Ridge, or um, I'm sorry, uh, in Woodbridge today, to the bee store. Uh, the lady up there was very, very nice, very helpful. Uh, as everybody knows, I'm new at this, so I'm just kind of learning. So what you do, uh, you take this high-tech cap off the back. It's carefully calibrated. Don't lose it. Open up our Ultra B. Dump some in. Perfect calibrated amount for how much we use in Virginia. You have to find a pine stick. That's the imperative part of this whole thing. And spread it out. So we want the bees to be able to eat evenly. We don't want any plump bees and malnourished bees. Uh, put the top on for safekeeping. Enclose this. And common sense says tilt it down a little bit in case it rains. Um, I think it's about 3 o'clock here in Virginia in April. Uh, the sun's about there, so that's west, that's north. I think the exact uh, measurement this should be is I, I don't have any idea. It works well because when I come down the road, I get to see it from my bees. Anyway, this is the first shot on this. There's the pollen feeder. We'll follow up.